What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do a zoom in or a zoom out transition like Sam Calder in Premiere Pro. Now I did do a tutorial on this in Vegas Pro 14 last week, and the way I'm going to be showing you is literally the exact same way except in Premiere Pro. So we're going from this Milky Way galaxy to this uh, skydiving video here, then we're going to head back to the Milky Way galaxy. So the first one I'm going to be showing you is the zoom in transition. So first of all, select the video that you want uh, the first effect to happen, which is zooming in. Then what we're going to be doing is some keyframing. Now for those that have never touched keyframing before, don't be afraid, it's actually very simple. So I'm going to zoom in on my timeline to the end part right here, which is the end of this clip. Then what I'm going to do, make sure I'm selected on my clip, make sure I am in the effect controls. I'm going to come back five keyframes. So I'm going to go back from pressing these buttons here. So one, two, three, four, five. And then from there, what you're going to do is toggle the scale animation. So now we're getting into the keyframes. Then we're going to come across to the end up here. And then where it says scale, put it to about 130. And you'll see if I just come across this, this is what we'll get. So at the end of this clip, it's going to be zooming in like that. Now another thing I recommend you doing, highlight these keyframes here, right click them and select ease in. This will just make the transition look a bit smoother. So of course the transition isn't complete yet because if we come across it's going to zoom in but then this video is just going to be straight into it. So we're going to be doing the exact same thing we just done to this uh, first video except an opposite way. So this time on the scale we're going to have this at 100 at the start. So lay down a keyframe by pressing this button here, then come across five. So one, two, three, four, five. Then you can set the scale to about 120. It doesn't have to be too much because we've already done the zoom in and this is just finishing off the animation. So then if I left click and highlight these keyframes again, right click them, select ease in, this is what we'll get. So I'm gonna play it through, hopefully it doesn't lag. That is what we get. So it's gonna be zooming in like so. So here, zoom in, and it's gonna continue the zoom in onto this video as well to give the illusion that it is a transition. Now I'm gonna be showing you how to do the zoom out transition. Now the zoom out transition, again, is also simple. It's again, very similar to what we just done, except for zooming out. So this time, head over to the very last part of this clip here in the second clip. Now remember, we already have keyframes at the start of this clip because we've just done it to finish off the zoom in transition. This won't be a problem. What we're going to do is come back five keyframes. So one, two, three, four, five. Then what we're going to do is lay down a keyframe by pressing this button here. Then you're going to come across to the end and then you're going to set the scale back to 100. Then we head over to the next clip. We set the scale to about one, 115. Then we come across five keyframes. So one, two, three, four, five. Then we set the scale again. We change it again. Make sure that animation is uh, toggled. I've got to do that for this one. So I'm going to drag this one back here and we're going to set the scale to 100, which is the default. Then I'm also going to left click and highlight the keyframes, right click and select ease in. So now if I play this through, this is what we get. You can see it zooms out just like that. It creates that transition look. And again, just like I showed you with uh, Vegas Pro 14, I'm now also going to be adding a blur just to make it look like a motion blur. So for that, I'm gonna be heading over to the effects. I'm gonna be adding on a Gaussian blur. I'm gonna drag and drop this onto the first clip here. Head back to effect controls. And then we're gonna be working with the keyframes you already have up here. So I'm gonna come down here on Gaussian blur. I'm gonna to toggle the animation. As you can see, we are on this first keyframe here that we created. Then I'm going to come to the end and I'm going to put the blurriness to 50. Now on top of that, I'm also going to have repeat edge pixels checked. And again, I'm going to highlight these, right click and select ease in. Now if you pay attention closely, you'll see as we are zooming in, the video is also going to be blurring like that and it creates that effect. So now we need to add the blur to this video as well, except in the opposite way. So we're going to add on the Gaussian blur, come back to the effect controls. And of course, right at the start, we're going to toggle the animation for Gaussian Blur, which is right here. On the very first keyframe, we're going to set the blurriness to 50. Then if you come up to the top and you select the right arrow on the keyboard we, or on the uh, keyframes we already set for the scale, it's going to take us to the next one and we're going to set this to zero. Now you'll see if I scrum through this, 
It's going to zoom in blurred and it's also going to zoom into this blurred as well. And that's the effect we'll get. Now, the same applies for the zooming out. So again, you can press this button to get to the next keyframe. We're going to select uh, zero for this one. So we're going to press this button to lay down a keyframe. We're going to come across to the end and we're going to set it to 50. Again, highlight all the frames, make sure you got all of them, right click and select ease in. You can see I missed the first keyframe, so I'm going to right click, ease in. So again, this is what the zoom out will look like as I'm zooming out. The video is going to blur like that. So the final time we come back to effects, add on Gaussian blur, head back to effect controls. On the very first keyframe, the blurriness is going to be set. We're going to set this to 50. Again, repeat edges is going to be checked. Come back to scale, come back to the next keyframe, and we're going to set blurriness to zero. Now you'll see as it zooms out, it's going to blur. And this is also going to be blurred like so until it gets into here. So I'm going to play this through for you. Hopefully it doesn't lag. The rendered version of this video was the same video you saw at the start. So I'm going to play this through for you. As you'll see, it's going to zoom in to the skydivers. And from the skydivers to the Milky Way, it's going to be zooming out right now. That's what that looks like. You can see it's really smooth. It's super simple to do. And that is all you need to do. But that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully it has helped you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace. <laughs>